WBT is proud to present the show that rips reality's lungs out. That's right, it's Mega Race 2 time. I'm Dick Headley, and how's about a hearty hi there for Mr. Virtuality himself? It's your mega host, Lance Boyle! Why do you love it? Because on Mega Race 2, we show the pain. <laughs> Well, somebody's got to tell the truth, no matter how inaccurate, isn't that right? Now, we don't enjoy showing unspeakable violence and meat-seeking missiles, even though they may not be real. No, we do it for the money. <laughs> yeah, only kidding, only kidding. We do it because it gives us a lot of pleasure. Something else that gives me a lot of pleasure is my desirable assistant, Mindy. It's so gorgeous. Tell us about that exciting new body you're wearing, Candy. You like it? How should I know? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Only kidding, folks. You see, I believe in the sacredness of motherhood. It so happens Cindy's not my mother. There's a fact on for you. I'm wearing an executive sweetie, Lance. It's the brand new body from Improved Flesh Incorporated. It's a beauty, Linda. I was getting kind of sick of the old one. I am Lance Boyle, and you saw it first on... VWBT, Lance. That's truer than you think, Sandra. You don't happen to know what we do to reality, do you? Well... We switch it up and throw away the key. That's right. You're with Mega Race 2. It's like Mega Race 1, only a lot more brutal. Tonight, we have a totally fresh enforcer for you. <laughs> Sponsored naturally by VWBT. Yes, he'll be mega racing for virtual television, experiencing major trauma and death at every turn. It's hell, but it hurts. Speaking of enforcers, where'd the last one go, Suzanne? Poor guy. We had to send him back to real life. You see, that's where losers go when they die, Lance. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Tonight's brand new enforcer looks like my kind of man. You mean he's wearing the new Lance Boyle body from Improved Flesh Incorporated? No, he's more the handsome, intelligent type. You're fired. Just kidding, folks. You'll be seeing Charlene or somebody surprisingly similar throughout the show. Believe me, you won't tell the difference. I don't, and I should know. So settle back as I ask tough guy here to mumble a few words. Feeling all big and nasty, tiger? Don't worry, folks. He can't hurt you. Deep inside, he's a warm and sensitive human being. There are people too, you know. Oh, Lance, that was such a beautiful thing to say. Remind me to fire myself. <laughs> Let me explain the Mega Race 2 situation to the audience and viewers out there in lobotomy land. We've got six tracks waiting, but don't get too close because they haven't been fed for a week. <laughs> These venues are so beautiful, you'll want to live there, just like me. Only you're not allowed to for financial reasons. To win a track, our tough guy has to race on it a number of times. Kind of like a championship, if you see what I mean. Don't worry, I don't hear it. Now, the Enforcer's gonna be up against a big, big bunch of network-sponsored psychos just like himself. To encourage a spirit of cutthroat cooperation, we've decided it's not necessary to win every or even any race. That's our way of prolonging the pleasure we know as pain. 
<laughs> it's the driver who scored the most points after all the races on a given track who wins it and goes through to the next one. The other drivers are losers. And we send them back to reality where their families tend to avoid them. <laughs> Points, by the way, are scored by finishing a race among the leaders. And that's not all. Money can also be earned uh, by doing nasty things, for instance with missiles and mines. Between each race, those lucky drivers get to spend their delicious dollars in the mega race weapon and repair shop. How about that? Whoever reaches and wins the last track of all is crowned King Mega Racer 2. He experiences a sense of achievement and returns in regal triumph to reality, where he'll probably never readapt. But he'll have his memories, Lance, long after we've forgotten him. And now it's time for VWBT's very own enforcer to choose his exciting Mega Race car. Welcome to the Foundry. It used to be worked by efficient robots with families, but not anymore. We had them recycled as television. You'll know if you're watching one from the screens. Being tuned to virtuality is distressful to their metabolism. Who's working the Foundry now, Lance? Nobody, Tanya. You're looking at a lifeless dead shell. Transformed by VWBT into the lethal racetrack it is today, as an homage to times long past when underarm dampness was only half the story. Sam, how come some of those machines are moving, man? I mean, if the place is shut down. Optical illusion, Tara. Created by VWBT spot magicians, wizards of virtuality. Oh, wow! They can sculpt your mind into shapes unrecognizable to modern normalcy. That reminds me! Isn't there somebody we'd like the audience to meet? That's absolutely right! Bring them on, Dory! Now, don't panic, folks. What you're about to see is a tranquilized version of a vicious degenerate called Fear Guts after his mother. If by any chance he overcomes his medication and lays a perverted hand on Terry, I won't hesitate to use this elegant device provided by Death Ray Lunch Incorporated. It's set to maximum to ensure fatal mortality and down-home barbecue sizzle. Kills them and grills them at the same time. Yeah, don't you love the concept? Our enforcer could be on a one-way trip to the afterlife, Lance. He's up against Beer Guts here, one of the big favorites to win the foundry. Beer Guts is sponsored by Express Yourself, the long-lasting diaper for the entire family. They're so soft, yet resistant. Isn't that right, Beer Guts? <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I could be wrong, but I think he's expressing himself as we speak. Don't worry, Lance. These diapers can absorb up to three weeks of self-expression. Three weeks? Uh-oh. I thought it was six. Oh! <laughs> They're so smooth and resistant, you forget you're wearing one. You've seen Beer Guts, big guy, and he's not the only one who wants to dismember your body. If you can't drive, you won't survive. You know something, tough guy? Lance didn't think you'd win that track, but I knew different, and now it's time to pick a prize. All you have to do is select a mystery door. I could be behind one of them. Thanks, Ludmilla. We'll let our hero pay his little visit to the Mega Race 2 repair shop. Remember to flush this time. <laughs> You're with VWBT, and that makes me a happier person on levels of existence which don't have any. What's that?
that awful smell, Lance. I know what you mean, Cheryl. It's the enforcer. He lost. Well, let's get rid of the creep. He's like so boring. You heard Tiffany, tough guy. She doesn't want you around here anymore. I hate to say it, but she's got a point. Matter of fact, she's got a lot of them, but they're not for you, loser man. Maybe back in reality, somebody will put you out of your misery. <clears throat> we can't, because on BWBT, we like it too much. Is he gone yet? Welcome back. I'm Lance Boyle, and you're watching Mega Race 2, the show for people with virtually no feelings. Wow, surely love the costume. Thanks, Lance. I'd feel totally naked without it. Our viewers out there will be happy to hear that, Shauna. You know why? Because when you say reality, I say, say your prayers. They tried to keep it secret, hidden from financially motivated eyes, but VWBT fearlessly ripped aside the veil of oriental wisdom. Now, Mega Race 2 takes you on a magical ride to the lost continent of Tibet, nestling in the forbidden mountain peaks of the Far East. Also known as the Roof of the World, Lance, and famous for its altitude and levitating religious monks. Is that what they were? Gee, if I'd known, I'd have left my hunting rifle at home. Yeah, just kidding, folks. These guys can only be killed by silver bullets. Right, Veronica? <laughs> They're llamas, Lance, not vampires. I got my garlic gun handy, just in case. Who's the favorite to win the Tibet track, Lisa? He's right here beside me. Ah. Hey, where do you think you're going, Count Dracula? Meet Ten Ling, Lance. He believes reality's an illusion. Sounds like he should be racing for VWBT. We already have our enforcer, Mr. Ten Ling, sponsored by dead animals. Dead animals? How come nobody ate them? No, Lance. Dead animals is the name of a company. <laughs> they make mouth-watering meat snacks disguised as broccoli. You can't even tell the difference. Mr. Ten Ling still can't, and he's been a vegetarian for several lifetimes. Sorry, Enforcer, but I'm gonna have to tell Mr. Fangs up there the truth about his eating habits. Know what I mean? He's not gonna like that. You could end up as a plate of broccoli. <laughs> Don't worry, I never eat vegetables. It's against my religion. BWBT is proud of me. And Monica, my tempting assistant, has a special surprise for you. <laughs> He's all yours, Carla. Don't exhaust the poor guy. He's got a lot of mega racing to do. Okay, Lance. We'll control our shameful desires. You're looking like a winner, Enforcer. You're the reason I took this job. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Take a look at these three Mega Race mystery doors. Behind each one lies a prize. Choose the door of your choice. Thanks, Kathy. We'll take a break right now while our tough guy pays his little visit to the repair shop. This is Mega Race 2. I'm Lance Boyle, and you're probably watching me. Hey, 
Hey, Penny, take me to your leader. Biddy, biddy, beep. You cut that dirty talk, young lady. The audience might be watching. If I play what you said backwards, I'm worried about perverted Satanist messages corrupting my mind. I hope you're not being a robot, by the way. Just kidding, Lance. I'm flesh and blood, and trained to report uncooperative elements wherever they lurk in hiding from the truth of freedom and decency. Those are the values we hold dear, right here on Mega Race 2, where you saw it first. I'm Lance Boyle, brought to you by VWBT. We consider reality to be a thing of shame. Calm down, Dorothy. Just bring on the next alien. You folks could die of a heart attack when you see this extraterrestrial being. But don't worry, you won't get your money back. Here it comes now. What is this, Debbie? The garbage goes out backstage, you know that. Lance is just kidding, folks. You're looking at what many believe to be a repulsive alien. And they're right. But that thing also happens to be one of the finest mega races in recorded history, as taught in centers of learning and thought control. Tell me I'm just dreaming of reality, Dina. Sorry, Lance. This is totally unreal, I'm afraid. VWBT's very own enforcer is in trouble this time. You're telling me? Unless it's the other way around. Who's sponsoring this thing? A super smart gas cloud from space, with interests in banking, burger outlets, wax museums, and galactic conquest. It's currently changing its name from Bob G. Smith to something a little bit less ethnic. Alien space being. I guess you'd like to marry my assistant. Go on, you can tell me. I already did. We've decided to call the baby Lance. Well, how about that? A little slime ball called Lance. That's something I'd like to see. Try looking in a mirror sometime. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry, I'm not gonna fire you. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's take a look at the track. Your mind reels in wonder as the otherworldly atmosphere of BWBT's planet from outer space beams subliminal messages into receptive areas of your brain. What do the messages say, Lance? They don't say anything, Katie. They simply are, and will continue to do so. Sounds fabulous. This strangely wonderful planet with its unusual rock formations and futuristic architecture sure is the perfect place for a death-defying mega race al fresco. That's very true. Tell me something, Karen. Was that creature we talked to serious about you two guys having a baby? Bitty bitty beep, Lance. This time I really am behind one of the doors, Enforcer. <laughs> Only kidding! If you can't disappoint your friends, then who can? We are friends, aren't we, Tiger Man? I bet you remembered it's mystery prize time. Open the door of your dreams! Melinda. And as VWBT's fearless enforcer pays high prices in the repair shop, we'll get back at you real soon with more meaningless violence. Right here on Mega Race 2, where death isn't real, it only feels that way. watching VWBT. It's like reality, only different in a lot of ways, most of them violent. And you're probably asking yourselves what Lan is doing. I'm pretending to wonder myself. Well, 
I'm revealing the principles of gravity, Lance. Maybe you should stick to revealing what you know best, Lorna. <laughs> and speaking of nudity, which I'm personally against quite often, let's admire the next Mega Race 2 racetrack, sponsored by our friends at Dunkin' Dolphins. You may think this simulated lunar installation has nothing to do with naked women. And you're right. If this was Venus, I'd discuss the goddess of love and her potent charms, but you'd only start to breathe heavily. This is Moon Base 9, where gravitational forces are too strong to resist. Isn't that right, Arlene? Not exactly, Lance. You see, VWBT learned... Not now, Lance. <laughs> VWBT learned that gravity was pretty lax out here, and they were understandably shocked and disgusted later, Lance. So they decided to add a few Gs. Jeez, uh, they're getting me all excited here, Lorraine. We have liftoff. <laughs> <laughs> You're only kidding, folks. Beverly and I are just good friends, even though she's fired. Our enforcer is not going to find it easy out there on the moon's lunar surface. He could end up with a crater instead of his face. <laughs> and here's the reason why. Come on out, Commander. That is, men. As you know, I have been dissected by alien life forms on 13 occasions. Their intentions are peaceful. They kill only for fun and scientific purposes. <laughs> Don't panic, folks. He's clinically dead, but it should wear off by race time. And even if it doesn't, he's still the favorite to win this incredibly stunning track. What do you think, Bianca? Correct, Omundo Lance. Commander Moonbeam actually enjoys the sensations brought on by death. I know you're scared, Tiger, but death by virtuality is even better than the real thing. Anybody who says different is a liar, and I should know. You know what I'm saying? So do I. Remember, you're racing for VWBT. We don't allow losers. I'm emotionally sad, Enforcer. Lance just told me you're not supposed to win the final track. He's just jealous, that's all. And also, for the last time tonight, it's time to choose the mystery door of your democratic choice. Thanks, Darlene. We'll take our exciting repair shop break as of this moment. Don't switch off or we'll find out about it. And that means 30 days in forced reality. You wouldn't like it, believe me. <laughs> Let's see what my mouth-watering assistant is wearing. Nothing too revealing, believe me. This is a family show, folks. The only bodies we show are dead ones. We're ready, Vonda. You're probably thinking, and that's not such a good idea. I'll let Melissa tell you about it. Thanks, Lance. We're about to visit the next highly dangerous venue VWBT has chosen as the site for one of its most exotic and deadly tracks. VWBT. We take reality and pull its wings off. But first, we've got someone we know you're going to love. Don't be shy, George. Why don't you tell us your name, George? His name's George, Lance. I already told you. You're probably wondering what I'm going to say next, right? I'll tell you something else. You're wrong. Unless you're watching the repeat, in which case I'll say the same thing just to surprise you. Yeah! I'm happy now, deep down inside where it hurts real bad. That's the magic of virtual television. I'm Lance Boyle, folks. <laughs> and, and, and this is George. 
It's false and bite, doctor, zombie, soft drink. They fizz in forbidden places. <laughs> ah! Remember, you saw it first on BWBT. <laughs> Nancy, did you tranquilize this cuddly beast? I gave him a double dose, Lance. Uh, I'll bet she did. That's the kind of girl she is. <clears throat> See what you're up against, tough guy? If we can get this little beauty back to his car, he's gonna be a main contender. I don't know if you're man enough for the job. I hate to interrupt your private life, Lance, but shouldn't we take a look at the new track? You're gonna love it. Maybe it's an outer space. That's a lot of babies, Lance. Where is it exactly? Nobody knows, Chelsea. Not even BWBT. This is the swamp, an inexistent region floating in the nexus of fear itself, where three-dimensional rocket ships are plucked from their daily activities and planted for reasons known only to invisible aliens who look like internal organs from another dimension. Are we talking space-time continuum here? Wendy, there could be children watching. We're all pretty impressed with your performance, tough guy. Maybe you're not the loser everybody wants you to be. Go get your fabulous prize. That's wonderful, Jamie. We'll take a break right now while the big guy spends pretend time and money at our overpriced repair shop and juice bar. I'm Lance Boyle. And if you're not watching Mega Race 2, you can expect trouble. <laughs> All the sensuous charm of a South Sea Island paradise. All the tropical breeze of a half-digested animal lover forced down your throat by subversive robot dolphins dedicated to world slavery. Welcome to VWBT's version of The Bronx. That's right, here in the heart of New York City. First discovered by the Statue of Liberty before time switched on. Can this idyllic urban dreamscape possibly be the scene of so much carnage and mayhem, Lance? Shouldn't it be a place for wrinkly old couples to stroll together down memory lane and such like? You're right, Diane. I'll have some imported. Meanwhile, Mega Race 2 has to struggle along without their feeble presence. This is a track with buildings. And you know what that means, don't you? Oh, my! Maybe we can get back to the studio land. Something tells me VWBT's very own enforcer is not going to be by himself out there on the very last of our irresponsibly dangerous mega race track, Sharon. I don't think he's going to make it this time. I was looking forward to giving him a big surprise. The leaves make me stick in my stomach. Yeah. Mm. I bet you're wondering what my succulent assistant here looks like in a birthday suit. <laughs> Who's our enforcer got to be afraid of, Joanne? Another hideous, drooling weirdo? You got it. Well, bring him on. He's already here, Lance. It's you. That's right, baby. I designed this trick. So who else could be guaranteed to win? Not you, I'm sorry to say. You brought a lot of pleasure to our wonderful audience, tough guy, but they'd like to watch you burn. You're a sensational, believe me. Now, give me your best shot out there. You gotta die like a man. <laughs> This is the kind of moment you won't forget for at least a minute and a half. I'm having a little trouble remembering it myself. <laughs> Let me explain it to you, Lance. VWBT's very own enforcer has just become His Majesty King Mega Racer 2. He won every check we threw at him. This is his towering moment of triumph. He must be really happy about the way I let him win. Come on, Lance. 
he beat you fair and square? I can't wait to spend that fully paid vacation with him in a romantic love nest complete with deodorized palm trees and subservient dolphin underlings. That's too bad, Sylvia. You see, I already took that vacation. Lance, how could you? Well, I was scheduled to win the last track, as you may recall, although I doubt it, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and I thought it might be a nice idea if you and me sort of used the prize to get away from the bright lights of virtual show business at its most exciting. It was a moment of exotic passion you'll never forget. Oh, Lance, let's do it again. We'll talk about it after the show, Lucinda. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's time to... Oh, Lance, I just realized. You can't. You lost the race, remember? You mean I have to go and live in... In reality, Lance. You knew the risk you were taking. I'm sorry, but you're fired. Gee, I'm sorry too, Natalie. I don't think I'm suited to reality. It's lucky that wasn't really me out there on the mega race track. Oh, come on, Lance. That's so pathetic. How can you not be you? When it's a clone, Carlotta. <laughs> Sponsored by Copycats, makers of people you can't tell from the real thing. No need to face reality. Get a clone to do it. Go on, who's gonna know the difference? Not you. Congratulations, Enforcer. As Natasha said, and by the way, don't you worry, she's fired. You were supposed to win a vacation filled with steamy pleasure and soft drinks. To be totally honest, though, I had a great time. And I think you've enjoyed Roxanne's company, too, in a number of ways. Here on Mega Race 2, we understand the Enforcer's feelings. They're a complex interplay of emotions, subtly interacting with each other like yesterday's spaghetti. I finished the meatballs, though. And believe me, they reminded me of a wonderful audience here tonight. Speaking of which, it's time to say I'm Lance Boyle. And I'm Kylie. Good night, Lance. Not so fast, Irene. We have a vacation to catch. Remember? <laughs>